Hey guys, today I am sharing what is going inside our February morning basket. It is going to be a mix of winter and Valentine's Day books. I'm super excited for this. I got some really fun brand new books for the kids. Um, I tried to get this out last week, but as you can tell, I'm a little sick and I had completely lost my voice. So I'm going to do my best to get through this without completely losing it. <laughs> um, the first thing that we start with when we do our morning basket is our morning devotional. Now, if you guys saw my uh, morning basket from last month, you saw that we are doing The Armor of God for Kids by Priscilla Schreier. We're gonna be continuing this. I think we're only on lesson week two. Um, this is a seven week study, and I'm gonna link everything below in case you're interested in checking it out. But I did want to revise what I um, had added last month as I have been going through, which one is it? The, um, the this is the little kids and this is the big kids. Um, I did purchase the the teacher or the leader guide. I would not suggest purchasing that. You can dive a little deeper into the study with that, but you don't really need it because the kids lessons, it all goes through basically like what you're gonna be doing. And then there is a parent guide for each week in the back. I'm gonna show you guys one. So this is the parent guide for the first week and then it tells you everything that you're gonna need. Um, I will be the first to admit I'm not always great at reading descriptions for these things. Sometimes, you know, I see something that's, you know, Bible and I'm like, Dill, it's got Jesus in it, we're doing it. <laughs> so I just wanted to mention that, that I would not necessarily purchase the teachers or the leader's guide. Um, I would more so just get, if you're planning on doing this, just the one that's for big kids and little kids and whatever age group that you're working with. They also have one for teens. And then they have um, an adult Bible study for you, Mama, if you want to do this as well. I have it, but I just don't have it within this vicinity. Um, I did find something really cool on Etsy to kind of pair with this study that I wanted to show you guys because my kids absolutely love doing it. And I will link this Etsy shop down in the description bar. Um, I have no idea who this person is, but they make really cool things. So she had a little pinwheel for the armor of God and it goes through each of the pieces of armor. And so my kids really enjoyed going through this and making it and coloring it. And I even laminated it so the baby wouldn't be able to tear it. And then, you know, they cry. But it also has the Bible scriptures that go over this right here. Moving on to our Valentine's Day book. The same Etsy shop also had a pinwheel for Valentine's Day. But talking about all of the things that represent God's love for us. So this is the front and it says 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 4 through 7. And then it says everything that God or that love should look like. And so I thought that this would be really fun to do as a Valentine's Day craft. And she has a whole bunch on there and it's really really cool. The kids love doing it and I believe they're like 350, so it's not anything terrible. You can download it digitally and then use it you know however much you want to so the kids have really had a lot of fun with that so i just thought that i would mention that in case you guys were looking for a fun valentine's day craft or armor of god craft uh moving on to our valentine's day books i'm so excited about this one um i did not realize that they had a valentine's day book but it is the cranberry valentine's day um uh, if you guys are familiar with cranberry they have the thanksgiving cranberry thanksgiving and a cranberry christmas but I'm not sure if this is new or if it's been out for a while, but it looks so fun. And my kids love the cranberry storyline. So I thought that this would be really cool. And on the back, they even have a cranberry upside down cake recipe. So that's gonna be a really fun book. And the next one is The Love Letter. My toddler is running in the back. The Love Letter, where three friends each receive a letter and they have to figure out um, who it's from and it's, you know, not just any ordinary letter. So I thought that this would be a really cute book. Hello, my friend. <laughs> Usually my husband takes him while I do these. You're joking me, but he's not here right now and I'm trying to get be productive. <laughs> so he's just gonna be running around playing. The next one, this storyline sounded so cute. It's called Love Is and this little girl, oh my gosh, Nicholas. Ah, you okay? This little girl finds a baby duck and she becomes like her mother. So she starts to have all of the, uh, 
the blessings and the woes of motherhood, like being woken up early. <laughs> so I'll do a quick flip through of this at the end. Um, it looks really, really sweet. The next, you guys know my daughter absolutely loves the Berenstein Bears, so I got her a few of the Berenstein Bears Valentine's Day books. There is a Valentine's Day party. Funny Valentine and Valentine Love Bug. I think they also have one called like Special Valentine or Secret Valentine. Um, my kids already have that one. They absolutely love that one. It's, it's a sweet story about like a secret admirer for Brother Bear. It's really cute. Um, the next one is my daughter also loves Fancy Mommy. Nancy. So I got her Fancy Nancy Heart Mommy. to Heart. Now moving on to winter books. We got Over and Under the Snow. Um, I, we have one of these. I just cannot think of which one it is. But there's such cute, fun books about nature. So if you're doing any kind of nature study or maybe you're doing 1,000 hours outside, this would be some really cute books. The series would be really cute books to work into all of the things that you're doing. But um, it's basically about what's happening over and under the snow, both what you can do and what maybe might be happening with nature above the snow and then what's going on under with like the animals and hibernation and things like that. So it's a really cute book. <laughs> All right, he is squared away with a snack. So I'm going to work through this. <laughs> so the next one is Bright Winter Night. Look at that beautiful color, you guys. The colors are just beautiful and vibrant. And it says, on one bright winter night, a group of woodland creatures emerges from the forest. Despite their differences, they start to build something together using items found on the forest floor. What are they making? How quickly can they build it? Something special is happening tonight. So this just looks so beautiful. When I saw it online, I was like, oh, I have to add that. <laughs> And the next one is a thing called snow. If you guys are familiar with the tree that was meant to be, I think I shared this in our Christmas um, morning basket either this past year or the year before. But it's such a cute story about just the animals working together. And so it says, with these guiding words from Bear, best friend Fox and Hare head off in search of their first snow. Cozy up with them and celebrate the magic of winter in this wonderful journey of discovery. Then last but not least is Winter Sleep, a hibernation story where a little boy goes and visits his grandmother and he learns um, about hibernation and the different animals that hibernate during the winter. And on the back it looks like they have a busy spring nature wakes up book. So I'm totally going to add that to one of my future book hauls. Um, but this book looks really sweet. So I'm going to turn around the camera, do quick flip throughs, not full flip throughs of all of them, but just mini ones so then you guys can get an idea of what they look like inside, what's in there, and see if it's something that you want to work into your morning basket.
guys, so that is everything that is going inside of our morning basket. What is going inside of yours? Did you find any books here that you are going to add into your morning basket? I would love to hear it. Um, did you guys happen to know, am I the only one who didn't know <laughs> that they have a Cranberry Valentine book? Uh, if they happen to have any others besides the Thanksgiving, Christmas, or Valentine's Day ones, let me know because my kids absolutely love this storyline. Um, as always, don't forget that all of the books will be linked below in the description bar in case you want to check any out. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, share the video with your friends who might be looking for some fun read-alouds, and I'll see you again later. Bye!